Hey, 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 it is Tuesday, March 14th. I'm looking at my calendar, 2023. We're going to be doing a card of the day of focus of intentions for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by spirit, universe, or whatever higher power you call upon. My job is to not to push a belief system or any belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and you connect whatever the fuck you want because that's none of my fucking business. So with that being said, the card of the day is coming from the Prism Oracle deck. And remember that the all my the Pineapple LLC is trademark copyrighted and registered with three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse. It's guided by my legal team. Um, that didn't count. Um, do not forget that next week, next Tuesday on the 21st is the next new moon community ritual. I do them now on YouTube. You can also join as a subscription. The community rituals are individually $15.51 per person, or you can join a $25 a month subscription community ritual. And that is $25 a month for two or three community rituals because some months have more than two moon cycles. It's usually every two weeks, every full moon, every new moon. Some months have three moon cycles. So you'll be getting that at a discount. The price is already discounted because like I said, the regular price is $15.51 per person. Again, subscriptions are available for 12 months. And this morning we will be heading off to the hospital with Oreo to do his ultrasound um, scheduled at 9 a.m. So please wish us luck and send us prayers because we're just hoping for the best with his prostate situation. Thank you again for all those who you showed love, sent messages, sent text messages, and sent donations. You don't have to, but I appreciate you. If you don't know, I am on Twitter as well at Readings by Vida and Twitter now offers tips. So if you guys like to give a donation, I'm not saying you have to, but if you want to do a donation, you can go to my website, thealmightypineapple.com and hit the donations page. I do have one of those. There's a donate button. You can donate there or you can send me a tip or donate through my Twitter at readings by Vida, R-E-A-D-I-N-G-S-B-Y-V-I-D-A. -E -I -I no dots, no letters, no explanations. And I am verified on Twitter under Vida, V-I-D-A, Valdez, V-A-L-D-E-S. Not a Z with an S. So what else is going on all right oh we do have a last minute opening on the rebirth retreat for luquillo puerto rico april 10th through april 14th it is a twin size bed it's 15 dollars 1500 pay in full or 1700 dollars with a payment plan and i can extend a payment plan for maybe six months nine months if you need 12 months hey i you know i'm more than willing to do that i'm more than willing to work with anybody who really wants to come so it is a bunk bed situation but you only are going to be sleeping on the bottom bunk i'm not filling the top bunks it's just too many people too much energy you will be sharing that with another person the king size runs at fifty one hundred dollars those are sold out the queen size runs at four thousand dollars per bed those are sold out so again, these are for more economical, $1,500 paying full, $1,700. So if you guys would like to come and reset, rebirth, or recharge, redo some shit in your life, come check me out. We're going to be doing excursions. We're going to be going to the water. We're going to be doing some hypnosis. We're going to be doing some cleansings. We're going to do all that jazz. So I'd love to have you. Let's get to the card of the day. Again, like I mentioned before, this is coming from the Prism Oracle deck. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition and empathy, but they don't listen to it as you can see the state of the world. So we already have a card that flew out, and it's called Space. Nice and black. Just Space. I love this card because sometimes you just need that. You need just to be on your own. It says you may feel alone and like you get lost. You can get lost here. But it is important to remember that you can fill this space. What is it that you are looking for to fill with your life? Is it certain types of people? A new project? How can you take action towards your goals? And the void is only a temporary space It's re and it's ready to be filled at any time. I love this card because basically Spirit is saying whatever you think is bad in your life, whatever you feel that this void or this darkness or this abyss is showing you can be filled with your visions, your goals, your destinies, your plans, your desires, your manifestation. You can fill this 
But you can fill every inch of this space up with everything that you desire. But we have a tendency in this culture to focus on the negative. So the more we focus on the negative or stay on that energetic vibration or in that specific frequency, feeding that energy, that's what's going to fill with the space. What you don't have, if you don't have enough money, if you don't have the right job, if you're not in the right relationship, if you don't trust people, if you've been betrayed, if you've been abused, if you have trauma, if you have abuse if you have pain if you have tragedy and i'm not saying those things are not valid but sitting in those things and not dealing with them and not healing that's what's going to keep causing up this space to be filled with people that you don't trust people that have hurt you because you're still in sitting in that pain there's nothing wrong with dealing with your pain there's nothing wrong with being mad there's nothing wrong with being justified and vilified and respected there's nothing wrong with that not at all but realize where your intentions are coming from and how long are you going to be sitting in that space that's the concern so start being grateful for what you do have if you're part of my instagram subscribers that's the theme of the week being grateful like i actually had you guys start doing some stuff about marking down or writing down what you're grateful for so fill this space up with your gratitude gratitude has an abundance of attitude right when you have that attitude of gratitude then you start multiplying what you already have even the things that you don't have you can manifest them and put them into existence in this space this space of darkness this space of abyss this space of void is not bad all darkness does not equate to evil and all light does not equate to good and guess what you were formed in the darkness you were created in a womb in the dark for seven to nine months some of us are preemie some of us are not some of us are late bloomers ten, let me correct that seven to ten months some of us have been stirring in the womb and you came out into the light all of you want to get into this achievement of bliss and abundance and manifestation but you don't understand that your darkness is the way through to the light you cannot get to the light without the darkness so this space this darkness you can also manifest what it is that you're looking for so use this space fill it up fill it up with your desires your dreams your manifestations but watch the energy and frequency that you're in if you have a tendency to always go towards negative and feeling bad and feeling stuck about your specific situation i am here to help i am here to serve at a orden como siempre but please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor even that means you do not work with me your intuition will always guide you to who what when where and how to work with those spiritual advisors practitioners coaches um leaders you know whoever they are for you it could be shamans it could be curanderas curanderos santeros any practitioners priests what ministers coaches hypnotists reiki masters whatever that is for you follow that intuition no matter what thank you so much and i'll see y'all later